seconds from the state capitol. Luxurious comfort is within reach. At the Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. During Florida's back-to-school tax-free holiday, retailers see a 30 to 40% increase in shoppers over three days. They spend a lot of money marketing just because they know that people are going to be out shopping. Governor Rick Scott is pushing to add seven more days to the tax-free holiday. Retailers say if the holiday is extended, jobs will be created. Retailers, when they get ready for this, they staff up. You know, they could add as much as 20 to 30 percent staff just for that weekend. Retailers and economists say a longer tax-free holiday is a good move for the state, although one FSU professor says it may be politically motivated. It's interesting that he proposed a 10-day sales tax holiday this year when it was has been shorter in the past. Political or not, Randall Holcomb says the extended tax-free holiday will benefit most. It would be nice to see a permanent tax cut. Uh, uh, but I think you will see a bit of a pickup in business and, of course, consumers benefit. Florida Tax Watch says brick and mortar stores are better able to compete with online stores when not collecting a sales tax. Those who are selling in tend to avoid Florida sales and use tax, whereas the brick and mortar businesses have to collect it. In a 2010 economic impact study, Florida retailers increased sales by $293 million in a three-day time span. The figure includes a $115 million increase in taxable sales. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Horn reporting.